Tomlin from Tomlin Harmonica Lessons here today. Uh, so today I thought it would be quite fun to talk you through my my live and recording rig. Um, so I don't actually use an amplifier very often and that's because I found something that uh, makes life a million times easier. Um, so if you uh, if you have a look on screen there'll be a photo of my pedal board and you will see that we have a few things on it um, that uh, that kind of allow me to, to get a good amplified sound without worrying uh, about having to mic up um, an amplifier or anything like that. So before I, uh, I talk you through the board, I'm just using a uh, marine band in the key of C. I've got a, a Blows Me Away Ultimate 565, I think. It's basically the precursor to the Ultimate 57. Um, it's a chopped down version of the microphone that uh, Paul Butterfield used. Um, so, oh, and I've got a bulletizer on it, which makes it a little bit easier to, to hold and get a good cup. Uh, so let's have a look at my pedal board. So there'll be a picture up on screen and you will see that I have two red boxes, a black box and a little gray box. So the uh, big red box on the left is the really important bit. So that's a, a lone wolf harp attack and it is a valve preamplifier, uh, which models a Fender Bassman. And that's the thing that uh, that really kind of gives you the uh, the kind of classic bluesy harmonica sound. Um, it's that that amp tone. And if I turn it off, we're kind of missing a lot of that. So I don't have a huge amount of drive set on it. I have it set um, at almost halfway up, a little bit less than that, maybe like two fifths of the way up. And a lot of the, the kind of overdrive sound is coming from getting the, uh, the nice seal around the microphone. So if you, if you kind of have your, your hand off and you're not cupping very tightly, Whereas if you cup, you get a, a much thicker sound. So that's a, a fun thing to play with and you can get the, the wah effect. Okay, and um, I leave that pretty much set exactly the same way the whole time. Uh, so let, let's move on to uh, some other parts of the sound. So the next thing is, is the kind of the long black box, which is a Boss MS3, and that is a multi-effects processor, and um, it's, uh, it's also a loop uh, for uh, various other effects that you want to put in. So what I have, I have the harp attack in one of those loops, and then the Boss MS3 adds some extra effects to the sound. Now, I, I don't use a huge amount of extra stuff. Um, so right now, what I've got set is a little bit of reverb and a little bit of delay. So the reverb makes the sound uh, a little bit, uh, a little bit kind of, um, more interesting, more three-dimensional, and, and less dry. So what I'll do is, is I'll, I'll demonstrate it with and without and uh, switch it on and off. So. Okay, so to make this easier to hear, I'm gonna turn off, I'm gonna turn off the delay as well. Okay. So this is without any reverb. So this is just the harp attack, no reverb, no delay. So as soon as I start playing, there's, there's no uh, feeling of space. Now, if I put the reverb back on, just a little bit of, of a sense of me playing in a room rather than in a completely dead space um, and 
to, to me, I find that a lot more inspiring as a sound while I'm playing. If, if the sound's too dry, it's, it's quite difficult um, to, to get kind of really excited about it, personally. And then I add a little bit of delay. So, I switch the delay on. So that's a slap back delay, so it's kind of a little bit more than reverb. It's repeating the signal, uh, but, but it's a very, very short time frame that it repeats in, so it's a very, very tight echo, effectively. And that just serves to, to thicken up the notes. If I turn it off... It's, uh, it's a little bit, little bit thinner. Um, with a lot of these kind of things, um, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely guilty of this, I find that maybe the, the audience can't hear the subtleties of, of the differences between adding certain effects in or not, uh, but it, it serves a purpose of making the player feel more inspired, um, and I, I definitely think that I'm guilty of that sometimes, but that's not necessarily a bad thing, in my opinion, uh, but be aware that you can start getting more and more fastidious about things that uh, don't really impact the experience for the listener. But if they inspire you to be more musical, then that's a positive thing. Um, okay, so this is just my standard tone, reverb, delay, harp attack. <laughs> So I do sometimes play with a little bit of octave uh, from the Boss MS3. Uh, so what, what this does is it adds um, the same note that I'm playing but an octave down and uh, well it sounds like this. Um, so it tracks really quickly, it's, it's brilliant for kind of thickening out the tone. Um, I think it, it gets a bit old quite quickly, so I, I don't use that a huge amount, but I do use it sometimes. Uh, and I, you'll hear that I've got a slightly more aggressive delay as well on this, this setting. So, uh, so yeah, that's, that's kind of my slightly more extreme tone. Uh, and then, yeah, let's talk about um, this, the other little red box. This is, this is a less exciting thing. Uh, it's the, uh, the Lone Wolf Little Red. And all that that means is that it converts my unbalanced signal to a balanced signal. Now, that doesn't impact your experience whatsoever, but it makes the sound person a lot happier because uh, it's, it's a much easier signal to deal with. There's less uh, noise in the signal, um, so they can, uh, they can pump it up nice and loud uh, without getting extra noises in there. Um, just makes life a lot easier basically. And um, then the other grey box the, uh, is just a foot switch, it just switches between uh, different settings on the, the pedal, so that's not quite so exciting. Um, so yeah, this is just a kind of brief overview of my setup. Um, I cannot recommend the, the Lone Wolf pedal enough. Um, the reason that I think it, it's so useful is that no matter what kind of size of gig you're doing, you can, you can slot that in. Um, because a Fender Bassman, which it's kind of modelled after, is a massive amp and it sounds great when you play it really loud, but there are so few venues where you can put your amplifier that loud that, that it doesn't sound very good in most situations. So having something like this means that you can play with that tone in a quieter uh, venue and that's, that's pretty cool. Um, and then when you do go into a louder venue, just plug that straight into the PA system and, and you get a really big fat sound. Um, that's great as well. So it's, it's made my life a million times easier. Uh, cannot recommend that enough. And uh, yeah, let me know if you want me to go a little bit deeper on uh, any of these pedals or the microphone uh, or amplified technique, just leave a comment below. And uh, if you've enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up by hitting the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, then subscribe to the channel because I put out a new video every Wednesday. All right, take it easy, and I'll see you next week. Happy harping.